In this video, I'm going to show you how to use crossband repeat on the Yaesu FTM 400, coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. Today we're in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. I'm doing the intro to my video here because this is such a lovely place. Today I'm going to help you do the crossband repeat on the Yezu FTM 400XDR. For some reason or another, Yezu decided to uh, leave this information out of the manual. So uh, you have to research it and hopefully that's what brought you here today. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is shut off the APRS modem. And in order to do that, you're going to want to push the display setup button until the setup menu appears. And come down here to the uh, left corner, APRS, and use the VFO knob to scroll up and down. And come to item number 5 and make sure item number 5 is off. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is program in the frequencies that you're going to want to use. Um, when I say cross band, I obviously mean cross band, uh, to go from 2 meters to the 440, uh, 70 centimeter band. Uh, you can't use 2 meters and 2 meters, uh, or 440 and 440, it just doesn't work. Uh, personally, I use this for simplex to simplex use. I don't recommend using it on two different repeaters. Uh, because you might find the rig seesaw back and forth and it won't unkey if both repeaters are using a courtesy tone or a re or squelch tail, repeat tail, whatever. Uh, you'd be better off to cross band from simplex to one repeater or from simplex to simplex. So with all that being said, I'm using uh, 146 470 on the 2 meter side and 446 100 on the uh, 70 centimeter side, both in the simplex part of the band. You'll want to set your repeater shift if you're using a repeater, the PL tone, timeout timer, power settings, all that stuff before you put it into crossband mode. So I highly recommend whichever side uh, that you're communicating from to be on the lowest power. Um, in my case, I'm communicating from 446 to 2 meters, so I'm going to set the 440 to the lowest power. You can use low or medium power on the uh, 2 meter side. If you're going to use high power, I highly recommend an external fan like the one I'm using here. Just don't forget to check the power settings simply by pushing the FMW. And that's the uh, high setting and we're on the top VFO. And go to the bottom VFO and verify we're on low power. That's all there is to that. Okay, to initiate the crossband mode, uh, I'm going to have to cover up the screen on the radio because that's the only way my fingers will fit. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these three buttons all together and then I'm going to turn it on. Um, of course it's on now, so we'll have to turn it off. Go ahead and push these three. I know I'm covering the screen and then push power until it comes on. I heard it. There it is. See it says X repeater right here. It's in crossband mode. As you can see I've got my HT on 446 100. That's where I'm transmitting from. Let's see if anybody's going to respond to me. Alright John. Uh, I've already initiated contact with you. Uh, can you hear me on this crossband? Got a good signal on you, Rudy. It sounds great. Hey, Roger on that. Uh, well, I guess you'll, uh, you'll have some uh, viewers out there uh, listening to you uh, on this crossband repeat demonstration. All righty. And I think for the viewers, we are about... 15 miles apart. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, John, I appreciate it. And I'm going to get back to uh, finishing off the video, and then I'll come back to you um, in just a minute. 
All right, and YouTubers, thanks for viewing. We'll talk to you later. All right, to go back to normal mode, you're going to want to basically do the same thing in reverse. Turn off the radio. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm pushing the three buttons. Turn it back on. All right, and that's it. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, comment below. And um, if you like the video, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.